Misty Tides by Mr. Floyd. As you know, or as you may not know, the tides are caused by the pull of the moon. Twice a day, the tide goes in and the tide goes out. When the moon is full, the tide goes way out or way in. Areas that are usually covered with water have no water about. So, when the moon is full, the tide goes way out. Likewise, when the moon is full, the tide comes in, very in. The tide comes way in, very in, in so much that you cannot even walk on the beach. What beach, you may ask? Well, when the tide is in, it's all water. And this, what's this thing in the water? It's something I used to play on, but I can't play on it now. The tide is in. In fact, look at this. Here's Alki Avenue. Looks like riding bikes only. Water's in. Remember, twice a day, I said. Both in and both out. Caused by the, what was that you said? Yes, the moon. The moon. And of course, when the moon is full, the tide goes so far out that Mr. Floyd can stand in the water in an area that should be way over his head with water. Oh, the tide's out. But if you live there, you're not seeing any water. At least not really close. Oh, no. And this vast desert actually is quite full of water usually, but twice a day, when the moon is full, or there's a new moon, oh, it goes way out. In fact, it goes so far out, the little tide pools are left behind. Oh, and these tide pools have animals, but it's not just seaweed. There's clams, crabs, even fish. You pick them up with your hands, and you take them out to the water. What is this? It's a stream. A stream from where? From one of the tide pools. You mean the pipe tide pools are getting smaller? Oh, they're getting smaller. Oh, it's out. Oh, the tide, it's out. In fact, the tide is so out, it looks like the surface of another planet. Of course, this is another planet, with tide pools, seaweed, and little rocks. But it's still another planet. And look at this vast wasteland of tide pools and rocks and seaweed. Oh, it is a tremendous and lonely place. When the tide is out. This vast wasteland of sand. Actually, we should be up to our armpits in water. But we are not. And what? What are those pylons? Something used to be built there. What is it? I do not know. But the tide is out. Twice a day. Especially when there's a new moon, which is nothing that you can see, and a full moon, which is, oh, you can see that. And areas that seem to be water-filled have no water about. Oh, there's no water, but there's rocks, and there's sand, and there's seaweed, but there's no water. None at all. Why is this? Why is there twice a day areas of lots of water in and no water at all? 
Why? The moon. The moon. But of course, that same moon causes the water to come way in. But why is this? Why? Because I said so. So, with the big moon causing the water to come in, I don't see any sand at all. In fact, I can't walk anywhere unless I plan on getting very wet. And wet. And wetter. Now, when the moon is not so full, maybe a quarter moon or so, give or take another fraction, the water doesn't go way out or come way in. In fact, sometimes the difference between the tide out and the tide in is not so obvious. So now you have a little bit of water and you got a little bit of sand or rocks. So, twice a day, the tide still does go out, but dramatically, it does not. So why does, in fact, the tide go out? I seem to have asked this. Can you tell me? The moon. The moon. The end. A Floyd production. Copyright 2005. All rights reserved. Floyd. A Transamerica company.